Good afternoon, Brian Bamey, Drew Brees with Elite Sports Medicine. Here today to give you some gait training. So I'm on a treadmill right now. You might not be able to tell that, but I am. If you don't have a treadmill at home, that is okay. You could do this, you could do this next to a couch. You could do this against a wall for support. It doesn't really matter. Ideally, if you had a treadmill, it'd be awesome because you got some support uh, with these right here. This can be an advanced gait training uh, idea or it could be a very basic one. It kind of depends on where you're at as far as maybe past ankle injury, past knee injury, past hip, even surgery. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to give you some basic things that I'm looking for as a physiotherapist that I would give you cues on and help you to get better at. So with that in mind, I'm going to have Mike, our top-notch video guy, go back there. I'm going to turn around and I'm just going to start walking. I'm going to show you some things that I classically see that you guys could try to work on, at least be aware of. I brought my legs, my, my, my shorts up today just so you guys could see my, my hairy legs. And uh, it's nice out, so I'm trying to get some sun. Okay. Treadmill's already going, but it's really slow. It's probably at the slowest setting right now. My worry with patients after an injury, and it could be any of those injuries that I talked about, but I'll classically see, say it's my right, ankle that I injured. I'll classically see this. A little, bit of a little bit of a shuffle gait and you'll notice my foot's turning out quite a bit and that's very very commonly seen. Right off the bat one of my first goals to have a patient try to do is to try to make sure that they straighten that foot out. Doing their best to just try to get a nice push off with all their toes. My worry is, one of my worries when they have a foot that turns out like this, you'll see when I push off, I'm pushing off mostly on that big toe. I see that adding to say things like bunions. I see that adding to say uh, things like a little bit more of a torsion in your knee, which I'm trying to help patients to avoid, obviously. So if I can get them to walk more neutrally this way, then that helps just with alignment. If anything, well, almost lost my balance. With anything, at least if I can get their alignment better, that's a good thing. I'm going to have Mike, my wonderful cameraman, move over here now so you can get a little different view and to see one more thing that I like to see patients work on. As I mentioned before, this gait pattern, I call it a shuffling gait pattern. What you'll notice is with this foot turning out, I'm also losing the ability to push off with this leg. You'll notice, and I often notice this too, I see patients that tend to slouch because they're worried about their balance and they're worried about maybe falling, worried about making sure that they at least can walk, but technique wise, this doesn't look, doesn't look correct. So I'll tell patients, if I can have you sit tall and as I get patients comfortably working on that alignment first with their feet, then I want to work on next is making sure your glutes and your quads and your calf muscles all work together to push off because they're some of your main muscle groups that should help in that gait pattern. As I mentioned before, that shuffling gait pattern is so common and you're negating some of these, some of the best muscles that you should be using. So I'll exaggerate this point where I'll say, patients, I really want you to push off with that back foot. Push off with that back foot. When you do it right, you should feel like you're getting a little taller. It should help with posture. I want you to get taller when you do this one. When you do it right, you should feel your glutes kicking in really quite well, your quads and your calf muscles all together in that final push off stage. Now, like I said, I don't exactly expect you to walk like this on a regular basis, but the idea is to practice that so that that becomes more of a normal stride length when you walk and you're using those muscles like I said. So just like that. Simple, basic, go Saints, have a good day.